Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to join me today and see how I'm getting on with my skincare project pan for 2020. Let's have a look at what we've got here. If you do enjoy this update and you think the video is entertaining or educational in any way, I would say informative, let's say, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, it helps me out a lot. Let's have a look at where we are so there are quite a few products i'm always honest there are quite a few products i haven't touched at all so rather than bore you i just won't go into them and i'll go through the products that are getting an update of some kind so if we start with the declior life radiance i have used that it's a mask and i believe i've got about one application left of that so i'm going to stick that on my bedside table i'm actually going to use it when i've taken my makeup off so hopefully next update i'll have another an empty to show you this is the this works in transit camera close-up mask moisturizer and primer in one i've actually looked this product up on um i think it's mns where I, I got it in like an advent calendar i've looked it up to see and it is really expensive for what it is um it's too strongly scented apparently it's naturally occurring in essential oils whatever it's too strong a scent for something for me to buy and put on my skin regularly but i have tried it as a primer and I really, really like it. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm one of those people on the fence about whether primers are even a necessary step. Uh, but if it wasn't strong, if it wasn't so strongly scented, I'd be tempted to make that my primer of choice because it, I do actually think of all the primers I've ever tried, that's probably one of the very few that I've felt actually made a difference. Um, these are two products I have used, the Kiehl's Midlight recovery concentrate and the vitamin e overnight serum and oil i have used them on my face this the, there's only this much left of the keels i cannot see at all in the body shop one they're both really nice products this was like a youtube maybe buy it product um i don't know whether it's designed to help particular things that i don't necessarily suffer with but for me it just doesn't it, it doesn't wow me I, I much prefer the um the ordinary retinol and squalane which i can use all over my face including my eyelids whereas i can't do that with that so yeah um it's difficult to use it up because you've got to keep retinol up you go through the retinol ugly uglies and come out the other side and if you don't use retinol regularly if you stop using it as regularly you have to go through the uglies again so that's why i'm finding it hard to use up um those sorts of overnight products um the other product that i reckon i should be able to have finished my next up again is the number seven radiant results revitalizing daily face polish now i am a bit embarrassed that this isn't already finished because i probably again got only one usage left in that and um i probably said i've not i've not watched it but i probably said in my initial intro video for this project that i would have that finished by next update so naughty me and um, if you haven't seen that by the way i will get it linked in the description box for you you should probably watch that before you watch this but if you're watching this then now it's too late so there's that um here's another product i'm going to set on my bedside table it is a tiny little bit left so again i've got some gimme products for next time it's the prey which is prai um ageless throat and decolletage creme or cream and nothing else is worth mentioning so i'm just going to show you the products that i've decided to declutter out of the project so I did try this on the face because I can't use it around my eyes. It's not that I can't, I just don't want to because I have things that are better that, and I need help around the eyes now, I'm 35. But this is the Aloe Eye Defense for sensitive skin. Um, it's supposed to have probiotics and stuff in. I hope my lighting's gonna let you see that. Soothing moisturizing creme gel with probiotics to reinforce scan, skin's scan natural shield so i tried to use it on the face but it kind of makes it kind of starts trying to pill up um so i wasn't able to use it that way so that is getting decluttered my garnier skin active micellar cleansing water um i just don't have a step in my routine that this suits i have quite i like to i, I like what i like and this doesn't fit into it so i very very rarely use this and it's not so although it's meant for sensitive skin and apparently you can use it over your eyes i can't and so for that reason it restricts how how and when i can use this and it says that it's 
six months you should keep it for. If this was a 12 month one, I might consider letting it drag on a bit, but I've definitely had this for more than six months, a lot more. And so that's getting decluttered. And then my Elderflower on Perfume Gel by The Body Shop. I can't remember what my plan was in regards to how I intended to use this, because as I say, I can't use things around my eyes now that aren't better than this. <laughs> um, but this, the, the scent has changed and for that reason I'm scared to use it and I can't think where I was going to use it so it's going. This is the ordinary, um, saying the abnormal beauty cup, ah, there we go I'm looking at the back, I was going to say I'm sure they're called the ordinary, the ordinary vitamin C suspension um, which is 23% at plus um, hyaluronic acid spheres at 2%. This is a lovely product. It's got a tiny bit left on it, but I'm going to have to get rid of it now because it's it's not because it's anything wrong with it, but what I mean is to say it's not the company's fault, but a vitamin C by its very nature is unstable and the scent of this has changed and it no longer tingles on my skin. So I, I'm 100% I'm sure the efficacy of this is, is gone. And so I would repurchase that again, um, but that one needs to go. And this is the Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Lotion. I've actually got a full and opened bottle of this. I'm going to have to see if I can get, see if I've got a friend who wants it. But um this is so high in alcohol, it's not something that my skin can now tolerate at my age. And so I'm going to declutter that. So that narrows things down quite a bit. We're coming along nicely. And uh, let me know what you think. So um, please always feel free to leave me a comment, even if it's just saying hello, because it does help the channel out. And I love chatting with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.